uh, Walker Hayes put out a new song called Y'all Life. And the SEC tweeted it out and talked about uh, doing a collaboration or whatever. Apparently, this song was going to be the new song for SEC Saturdays this fall for football season. Uh, the article from Keith Farner over at Saturday Down South said, Walker Hayes is not a popular artist among SEC fans, at least the fans who quickly voiced their reaction on social media on Friday afternoon. The SEC has apparently reversed course on a collaboration, at least the marketing portion of it, with Hayes, a country music singer. Fans did not appreciate the new song, Y'all Life, that the SEC promoted just days ahead of SEC Media Days next week in Atlanta, this week, of course, and later this afternoon, the conference deleted the original tweet. So Walker Hayes, of course, commented back to it and said, um, yes, about a collaboration on it. And the tweets in response were just ridiculous. Uh, Prancing Rooster said, this is the worst idea you've had since you came up with putting Missouri in the East. Uh, you've got breaking Alabama, Georgia, Texas A&M, and Florida all announced plans to leave the SEC after the conference drops the Walker Hayes collaboration. Uh, Walker Hayes is the Macklemore of country music. SEC Twitter just cyberbullied the conference to back out of using Walker Hayes for the song of the conference this year. I mean, it's, it is absolutely insane. I, here's what I want to know. Who does Walker Hayes know? Like, and how does he continue getting opportunities like this? He, he of course, has the Applebee song. I think it's called Fancy Like or something along those lines. Nobody liked that one. I mean, it was, people absolutely let their vitriol for this song out. Oh, during last football season, why would you think bringing in another song that sounds almost exactly like that would be a good idea. I mean, the fact that SEC deleted the tweet is something else. Like, if you if you were worried about any, and I'm sure that they had no idea that it was going to get this kind of a backlash. But man, to be completely tone deaf and not have any idea what your fans like and don't like, it says a lot about the conference marketing department. I will I will certainly say that. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.